theme of freedom with an aim on collaboration between the four groups and hoping to spread involvement and the number of young people engaging with the arts. group that aims to involve more young people in the arts and build relationships between people from different art forms. Our meetings are centered around conversations, brainstorming and planning around art in the public realm and public engagement in the arts. We're currently working on a project that will culminate in a public performance which will take place on the 3rd of December. This has been a multi-dimensional process and after two months of creating, forming ideas, and overcoming challenges. The art groups have evolved together and are beginning to form a co coherent whole. The public sharing will take a form similar to that of a promenade performance in theatre, with the audience being led from the outside through the building. As gorillas, our job has been to meet, discuss, plan and prepare, after which each representative relays any new plans and ideas from other groups to their group. This has been an incredible experience full of opportunities. And I'm sure that I speak for all of us when I say that I'm beyond excited to see what we produce in the future and how far we can take this project. Okay. Draw Mind Matters. Draw Mind Matters is a visual art group that began in May 2021. We have worked with a wide we have worked with a wide range of media and artists, experimenting with different concepts in, a numer in numer numerous ways. <laughs> we have done large-scale painting, sculpture work, green screen, mural, photography, projection experimentation, and much more. I've been a part of Draw Mind Matters since it began, and I really love this class. I formed bonds with the other participants that will last a lifetime. I'm in the leaving set at the moment, I also work as a waiter and life is very stressful. Draw my matters keeps me going. Knowing that on Friday evening, I will be able to freely create in a safe space with open-minded people keeps me going. Knowing that I can make a mess, that I can fully and wholly be myself, that I can speak freely without judgment keeps me going, even if it's only for two hours or so. I once told Lucia here, that when I'm having a bad day, I sometimes sit outside the art centre and think about the wonderful, crazy and chaotic memories I've made there, and I feel better instantly. And I know that it's not just me. Each member of our group feels a similar way. I've asked the other members to send me quotes on how they feel about the class. Nori says, I like our class because it's expressive. It channels emotions and yet is nothing at the same time. We bring what we want and we feel into it. We are who we are in class. And from Cassie, I love our art group because of how expressive and creative everyone becomes once they start creating. It's chaotic, it must be said, but the end artworks are always epic and very interesting. And from Lucia, Draw Mind Matters makes me feel real. Standing in the middle of an ink puddle becomes the new normal. And now we have Leo talking about the music group Tune In. Matters, who are the art group, 
at Rusty Frog Youth Theatre with Drama Group, Young Dancers who are the dance group, um, and Tune In who are the music group, and I'm part of three of them. I'm part of Drum and Matters, Rusty Frogs, and Young Dancers. Um, so I'm going to continue the presentation by talking a little bit about Young Dancers and Rusty Frog Youth Theatre. So, uh, the current Young Dancers program is a group that was set up as part of the Girls Project. Uh, we have members who come from all sorts of dance backgrounds, <coughs> including contemporary dance, ballet, hip hop, uh, gymnastics, and modern dance. Areas Elaine Mukag, dance artist and choreographer in the Pavon, and circus artists Cormac Mahali and Haji Murphy have worked with us with a collage of skill sets and ideas to explore the theme of freedom through movement. Since September, we have worked on developing a dance piece that links all these different areas of dance with other art forms. It has been a unique, challenging, and very rewarding process. We have explored the contrasts between freedom and captivity within movement, created duets using gestures, uh, and integrated elements of circus into our work. As representatives of our dance group, some of us attended an aerial dance meet between youth aerial groups from around Ireland in the Irish Aerial Creation Centre in Limerick, allowing us to interact with other young people who are passionate about dance. These experiences have allowed the Young Dancers group to evolve and grow. So now I'd like to talk a little bit about Rusty Frog and Fear. So, um, Rusty Frogs is youth theatre for teens. It's facilitated by Maxine Acton, and we meet every Tuesday evening from 6 to 8. We learn things like acting, improv, stagecraft, voice work, clowning, and directing. Throughout the first term, we've worked on the Collaborative Gorillans project, exploring and questioning what freedom means for Rusty Frogs as individuals and as a group. This has been a challenging and incredibly entertaining process. It has involved discussions, paper airplanes covered in writing, acting games, huge sheets of paper, and voice acting performances in the dark. Over the past few weeks, Rusty Frogs has focused on creating spoken word contribution for a public sharing of the project on the 3rd of December. Maxine invited guest artists who led workshops developing skills such as writing and podcasting. Based on our work from the whole term, we have written pieces and recorded them for a very old soundscape. We are also working on a performance piece for the day. This multimedia project has allowed the members of visual art, drama, dance, and music groups to connect and gain an insight into different art forms and perspectives on what art is and what it means to create. I have met some of the most amazing people, and it has been a really beautiful experience to be part of this project. Thank you.